Cracks Camille cassette review. I don't I don't remember what number I'm on, honestly, but um so long story short, you know, I got a whole bunch of tapes from my friends. Some of them were, were kinda bad, you know, like kinda like a joke. And um so I just threw them all on the shelf backwards so I could select them randomly for my little fucking show for you guys, for all three of you to watch this. And um this one that I pulled out, um, when I put it on the shelf, I thought it was like like a jogger sizing, like exercise tape or something. I didn't know what it was, okay? Like just based on the picture and I didn't take any interest to really look at it too closely. So when I pulled it off the shelf, I kind of got a bit of a laugh. But then I looked at it closer and I was like, oh, this this might be all right, you know? And um, that tape is the original soundtrack to the 1982 film Cat People. And Cat People is a remake of an older, like, thriller, horror, science fiction movie where everybody, this girl, like, turns into a cat or something when she's, um, aroused and, like, I don't know, like a panther or something, and I think she, like, kills whoever she's, like, having sex with or is turning her on. Whatever, whatever sexual scenario that she's in, that's what happens, so. I haven't seen the movie. I want to see the movie after listening to the tape, but, um, so why I say this is interesting is because the music is all composed by this dude, Gio Giorgi Marauder. I fucking definitely said that wrong. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say it. But, um, this guy, right? And you're like, oh, that looks familiar. Well, he, um, he did some production on the uh, last Daft Punk record that came out in 2013. So if you like that record, you you probably know who this guy is. And, um... He's also done some stuff with, like, Donna Summer that, like, you know, like, some production. Um, Adam Ant, um, Pat Benatar, like, all these weird people. David Bowie, who I'll talk about in a minute. But the thing he's really known for is he does a lot of scores to movies, um, soundtracks and stuff. Uh, like, Midnight Express is a big one that he did. Um, Scarface, which is awesome. That's a great soundtrack. Um, The NeverEnding Story, one of my favorite movies when I was a little kid. So, yeah, he's done a lot of soundtracks and stuff. That's really what he's known for, that and, like, some producing. So, Cat People. All right. Um, the first track on here is where David Bowie comes in. Like, it says on the back there's, like, a star asterisk, and it says, like, lyrics by David Bowie. Well, there's one song with that little star asterisk, and it's the first one, and it's fucking awful. Now, for I'm not a fucking David Bowie fan by any stretch of the imagination, but this song is, like, unbearably bad. It's like, it sounds like it could be from the Rocky Horror Picture Show or something. Um, and then the second song isn't much better, but at least it's instrumental. But then after that, this thing starts to get pretty fucking good. Like, I actually liked it quite a bit. So, and the B-side is awesome, with the exception of one song where David Bowie just hums. He's like, hmm, 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 like the whole time. If they didn't do that, it would have been a good song. But he ruined it with humming. Why? But, um... So it's all instrumental music, um, you know, it's that 80s soundtrack music, but it's pretty good, like, I do really like it, to be honest, and, um, so it's not, some, some songs are darker than others, but some are more upbeat, it's all very spacey and futuristic sounding, I, I do really, really like it, especially the last couple tracks on the B-side are great, like, really good. This is a this is a tape that um, I'm gonna be looking for the vinyl of this because th there is some there are some gems on here. Um, I think a producer of electronic music or hip hop could this is a gold mine. I'm sure some things have already been used. In fact, um, one hip hop group I like, Cannibal Ox. I'm pretty sure I recognized a sample off here that they used. So I'm sure it's been done, but th this is this is good stuff. I'm definitely gonna be on the hunt for a. Um, for a vinyl copy of this um so yeah if you like electronic music you know kind of like you know spacey and and weird it's it's something it's pretty good i'm very pleasantly surprised with this the david bowie track kills me like i so normally i i do a different tape every day on my commute but um i grabbed this yesterday and i've been listening to it all day yesterday in the car all day today in the car i had to force myself to take it out i really quite enjoyed it um, that being said, the David Bowie song just, it just is so bad. Like, granted, the more I listen to it, the less I hated it, but I really, really cannot stand it. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And, you you know, maybe if you're a David Bowie 
fan, like that might be like a selling point for you to check this out. But for me, it kind of killed it. But um, yeah, the packaging, there's really nothing to talk about. It's like a white tape, a plastic case, and it's blank inside. There's, you know, nothing interesting going on there. So this came out in 1982, so it's pretty old. And um, on my scale, I got to give it a, uh, I give it a, a tape it. Unless you're like a huge Bowie fan, you might like it. But on my scale, I just got to give it a tape it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna go out and cop the vinyl, but I don't think it's for everybody. So some, I guess somewhere in between a cop it and a tape it, but definitely pretty cool if you're into electronic music, um, specifically instrumental. So that's it, guys. Crack out.